What's going on guys? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and I'm back with yet another weapon review from the fastest selling Ubisoft title of all time, The Division. Today is weapon review number 83, and will feature the newly introduced 256 Gear Score Rhino Special Pistol. But before we get into the review, here are some basic stats and in-game weapon info for you on the Rhino. The country of origin is Italy. The rate of fire is 350 rounds per minute. The cylinder holds 6 rounds. The fire type is semi-auto revolver only, and the reload speed is somewhere in the 1.5 second range. The Rhino pistol was designed and conceptualized by John Browning, who in turn sent his schematics to Smith & Wesson. Smith & Wesson did nothing with this design, and how Kiapa came to get their hands on the design is vague. In any event, the Kiapa Rhino pistol entered service in 2009 and is manufactured by Army Sport, the firearms manufacturing division of Kiapa Firearms. Kiapa mainly focuses on reproductions of older muzzle-loading guns and other classic arms. The Rhino pistol is CNC machined from a solid block of high tensile aluminum and all internal parts are CNC machined from steel. Chambered in four different calibers including 357 Magnum, 40 Smith & Wesson, 9mm Parabellum and 9x21 cartridges, the Rhino is best known for its distinctive feature in that the barrel is on the low axis compared to other revolvers. It actually fires from the lowermost chamber of the cylinder which greatly reduces muzzle flip and pushes the weapon straight back into the shooter's hand. Our in-game variant, the Rhino Special, is more than likely the 50 DS chambered in 357 Magnum which comes with an accessory rail for mounting laser pointers. I know most of you are not really interested in sidearms in the division as they are a bit of a forgotten element with such strong primaries, but I still decided to bring you this weapon review. I looted my Rhino Special Pistol from a daily challenge mission and it features a damage figure of 31.5k after mods. As with all sidearms in the division, it features the expert talent and mine also came equipped with Ferocious. For those of you agents that roll with a Magnum sidearm, you will feel right at home with the Rhino. Recoil is severe and it looks like it could at any time literally rip off your character's arms. Reload speeds are blazing fast in the 1.5 second range and overall accuracy and range are decent. You will need to take your time between shots to settle this portable howitzer cannon as spamming the trigger will result in you pointing skywards and completely missing your intended target. This is not the type of sidearm to use if you like low recoil, high fire rate pistols as the Rhino requires patience and timing to use effectively. Now I always try to keep an open mind when going into these weapon reviews as I do know most of these real life weapons and how they handle and I want to see how the devs have programmed them into video game form. With that being said, whoever programmed the Rhino into the division got it completely wrong. The Rhino was designed to use the bottom of the weapon to house the barrel and therefore put it in a straight line with the shooter's arms. Muzzle flip like you would see on a traditional 357 Magnum is virtually non-existent on the Rhino and couldn't be further from what you see in the game. It looks like the devs used a stock Magnum programming model and just reskinned it to look like the Rhino pistol. My suggested mods would center on gear items aimed at maximizing damage. The decisive talent adds 35% headshot bonus damage and comboed with the normal pistol expert talent can greatly enhance this weapon's killing potential. I'm going to rate the 256 gear score Rhino special pistol a weak 3 out of 5 stars. It shows potential with immense stopping power and damage figures but the insane amounts of recoil make this weapon virtually unusable. My disappointment with the Rhino is made even worse by knowing how this revolutionary weapon behaves in real life. If it were accurately programmed, many of you agents would switch over to this beast as the 357 Magnum rounds hit like a freight train and the weapon's design virtually eliminates muzzle flip and recoil. For the time being, I would recommend to stay away from this weapon and go with a more manageable X45, M1911 or even a sidearm shotgun. As always, I would love to hear what you thought about my weapon review. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my division videos in your life, follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. If you are looking for answers about any weapon in the division, look no further than my weapon review video series as it really is the most comprehensive and accurate weapon review playlist on YouTube. And remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until my next The Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.